You're listening to a Filmstorm Studio production. Uh, come in. Ah, there you are, Peter. I've been looking all over for you. Quite a joyous day, isn't it? You have taken your joy, right? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Did you need something? Oh, yes. We are having a party at George's house and wanted to ask if you are coming. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. Crowds aren't really my thing. Oh, come on, Peter. You might just meet a special lady in there. <sighs> Thank you for the reminder of my singleness. Peter? Yes, I'm still here. You lied, didn't you? You didn't take your joy. Well, what if I didn't? What's the worst thing that could happen? Why should we? What's really happening here? Tell me! Now this won't do. But don't worry, we'll fix that right up. No. Get away. No. No! No! Are you all right? Doctor? Oh, uh, what? what? Uh, yes, of course, I'm all right. I'm the king of all right. You're doing it again. Doing what again? You know what I mean. Nope. I haven't got a clue what you're going on about. Leaving me out of what's going on. You never tell me anything. I tell you loads of things. Not the things that matter. Everything's fine, okay? Just have some loose ends. What kind of loose ends? Why are you asking so many questions? Because you're keeping something from me, and I want to know what it is. I'm sorry, this will have to wait. Don't change the subject. I'm not. Look at the TARDIS. It's taking off on its own. Is that possible? It shouldn't be. Hold on, and I do mean it. This is going to be a bumpy ride. What's going on? Ugh. I don't know. The scanner's fried. Come on, old girl. Come on! We finally stopped moving. That's good, right? Not just anyone can hijack a TARDIS. We could be anywhere at any time. So what do we do? Well, we can't leave. The TARDIS is fried for the time being. I'll turn on the self-repair system. Now come along, but be cautious. Well... This isn't exactly what I was expecting. What? No, 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 no! That is not good at all. The TARDIS is gone. And that means... We're stuck here until she decides to return. I thought you said she was fried. Yeah, I say a lot of things. Sometimes it ends up not being true. Where are we exactly? I don't know. That is also new. Let's have a check.
we appear to be on the planet Belvis. Is there something wrong with that? From my remembrance, this place was completely desolate. No one comes here. But look at it. It's beaming with life. Maybe we're in the past. No, no. It's always been desolate. As in, it was always desolate from the beginning. Then maybe terraforming? Could be. Oh! What's this? What? There's a city nearby. Let's go check it out. Perhaps the TARDIS landed there. Lead the way then. Oh, that's eight this week. Eight people we've had to lay off. Eight. Don't worry, my friend. We can always find workers. People come in and out every day. Are you taking my joy, my friend? Of course I have, sir. I had it at lunchtime. <laughs> yes, I'm not convinced. Look into my eyes, Mayor Gavin, and remember that I am your master. And I will obey you. Good. Good. <laughs> ah, good afternoon, sir. Fine day, isn't it? A fine day, indeed. <laughs> you keep your work on, Mayor, and leave the rest to me. Why, of course, sir. You're my friend, after all. Friend? Yes, you could say that. Now I must be off. I have other things to attend to. Sounds splendid, sir. What a splendid day, sir. Uh, uh yes, uh, indeed. Uh, we're just a passing by. May we enter? Why, of course, sir. But first, you need to take our joy. Our joy? Oh, of course, sir. Here. Take your joy, sir. Very good, sir. Come in, come in. Okay, this place is complete bonkers. Okay, good. So I'm not the only one who noticed. How interesting. It seems to be some sort of narcotic to keep their, well, joy up. A town full of narcotic happy people. Seems like a great place. And that's not the worst of it. We may have just stumbled into a town of cultists. What makes you say that? Just look around. Why, hello there. Good day, isn't it? It is a good day indeed. Why, hello there. G good day, isn't it? It is a good day indeed. Oh my. What is it? Mind control or something? Hmm. You might be onto something. Come on. Fascinating. The little doctor coming out to play. <laughs> oh, Mr. Don, joyous day it is. Ah, yes, indeed it is. Now, has there been anyone new here that has entered the city? Maybe a man or a woman? Why, you must be one of them fortune tellers, because we just had exactly what you say happen. A man and a woman did come through the gates. Excellent. Show me. Oh my. What is it? Mind control or something? Hmm. You might be onto something. Come on. And so it begins. Are they a problem, sir? Problem? Ah, no. Nothing you need to worry your little head about. 
Just take your joy and be merry for me. Ah, there you are, Mr. Dan. Listen, I have the reports for the budget. Never mind that. I need you to do something for me. Why, of course. Anything for you. There is a man and a woman who recently entered the city. I need them brought into my custody. The man wears black glasses with a purple coat and scarf, and the woman following him. They are required. I'm on it, sir. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying to find who made these pills. They could be the link to finding our hijacker. Well, did you find anything? Aha! Okay, let's see here. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. Some might say extraordinary. Anything that can actually help us get out of this mess? This pill is no ordinary pill. It's been ingrained with the psychic projection. There's only a few beings in the universe with such an ability. One of them being a Time Lord, much like myself. So you think one of your own people are behind this? It is only a guess for now, but it could explain the hijacking. Only a Time Lord has knowledge on such matters. Um, Doctor? Could it be the Rani? No, that's not really a thing. The Monk, maybe? Would explain the cult. Oh, maybe the Eleven. Have it run into his ugly mug in some time. Or... Doctor, you really should see this. Not now, I'm thinking. Doctor! What? Uh, Jezebel. Jezebel, are you alright? You know I hate the number four. Yes, I know. I thought it'd be a good callback. What are you up to this time? Shh. First off, use my name. Fine. What are you doing, Master? I do love it so very much when you use my name. You chose it. As did you, my dear Doctor. Now that we have that out of the way, answer my question. Ugh. Fine. Just bore me to death while you're at it. Enough of your games. What do you want? If I'm being honest, my dear doctor, pardon my French, but I've absolutely screwed up. Big time. Finally! He admits he's a screw-up. Congratulations. This isn't time for jokes. I'm serious. Uh, what happened, doctor? It's okay, Jezebel. I'm here. Doctor? Who's this? Jezebel Master. Master Jezebel. Oh, Doctor, you and your Earth girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can talk about my misdeeds later. Now talk. You said you need my help. Help with what exactly? It might be best if I were to show you. May I? Ah, fine. Not like I can go anywhere. Prepare yourself, though. This might hurt. <laughs> Contact. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? That, my friend, is what everything on this planet truly looks like. The reason you can't see it is because I have put a mental projection over this planet. You mean those people? Those people are dead! What are you talking about? What did he show you? The truth, it seems. I saw all those people out there dead and heard their cries. And in the middle, a storm. What was that about? Let me into your mind again, and all will become apparent soon. Fine, but just don't show me anything like that again. If you insist. 
Contact. Contact. Uh, hit me pretty good there. And he continues. Going and so shall I. The master. <laughs> we'll be reborn. <laughs> That was accelerating. Now, let's see. What do we have to work with this time around? Oh, I'm a skinny thing, aren't I? The eyes, though, are an improvement, I will say. <laughs> oh, in this new uh, voice. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, I could get used to this. Right then, I have places to go, several licenses to tarnish. And I think it'll start with hitting this right here <laughs> now that's more like it come on you machine let's see what you can do <laughs> God, I've never seen anything like that. Where is your TARDIS now? It's better if I show you. Guards, take their robes. Right away, sir. Much better. Now, shall we go, Brother Time Lord? Indeed. This way. Wow, so that's an exploding TARDIS. Yeah, it is. I've only ever seen this happen one time. And how did you fix it? By causing the Big Bang too. Good. So no help? You're the one who asked. Oh. Idiot. Complete idiot, Doctor. What is it? It didn't just explode. It, well, leaked out. Meaning? Oh, come on, Master. Think about it. No? Fine. The TARDIS crashes. Explodes. But the residual time energy covers the planet, putting the planet in a time flux where both the future and the past are happening all at the same time. That's how those people are both alive and dead, because time is going back and forth. No wonder you had to give them narcotics just to make them believe they were not in peril. Now don't make it sound it was like to save them. I needed your attention. What do you mean? The Daleks, Angels, Cybermen, even that Derek guy. All me. You were the employer Derek was talking about? You gave him those coordinates. Wait. And you were the one who gave the tip about me to Elvis. You were there for all of it. To bring you here. Because if you don't help me fix this, then time as we know it is done for. Right, okay, okay. Let me think. Oh no, time is running out. Yes, yes, I can see that. What would you say our estimation to the collapse of all time is? 
From the look of it, we may have an hour or so. Doctor, can we talk for a second? The fate of the universe, and you want to chit-chat? Get your debacle over quick! What is it, Jezebel? What's wrong? In case we all end up dying in a fantastical time explosion, I wanted to settle things from earlier. Oh, yeah. You're right. Blimey, I'm never good with these things. <sighs> Listen, my life is dangerous, and I've lived a long life of that danger at every moment of my life. I've also done horrible things that I can never talk about. I know I should open up to you more. It's just hard. Well, how about we start now? Start talking to each other more, right here and now. I couldn't agree more. To start off, I was keeping the knowledge of, well, him away from you. The master, you mean? The very one. Who is he exactly? He's a time lord, like me. But unlike me, his mission has been to burn the universe instead of just seeing it. This time being an exception to the rule. He seeds chaos wherever he goes. We've been battling across the universe for centuries, through multiple incarnations and faces. Basically, he's like my arch nemesis, the Moriarty to my Sherlock, if you will. I think he missed you. Yeah, maybe he did. Now, what about you, sharing time, I mean? Let's see. I've never told you, but you really saved me. The first day we met, I had gone through countless amounts of bullying and ridicule, but you gave me purpose again, and showed me life has more to offer. So, thank you, Doctor. Ugh! That is just disgusting! Charming. Now, let's do this. You're telling me you actually have a plan? Of course. I'm gonna enter the heart of the explosion. Oh, good. Wait, what? Doctor! I might be mad, but that is bloody crazy! It's the only way we're going to save the universe. Master, listen to me. If I don't survive this, you take my TARDIS and bring Jezebel back home to Earth. And then you can have my TARDIS. You have always been after it for years. <laughs> Do me a favor, don't die. As much as I hate you, I more hated the thought of a universe without you. Same here. Goodbye, Master. I'll see you again. Let's hope. Doctor? Jezebel. Oh, my Jezebel. I will come back for you, I promise. You and I still have those stellar places to go. I'll hold you to that. Right. Turn on the teleport. Activating teleport? Now! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anyone, Anyone there? there? Where, where am, am I? I? I don't know why I am. I don't know where I am. You're where you are meant to be. <sighs> who are you? I am you. And who am I? I don't even know who I am. Who am I? You are the Doctor. A Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey within the constellation of Casturbus. You are a traveler in space and time. The oncoming storm, the madman in a boat, the magician, you are the doctor! I'm the doctor. I'm the doctor. I am the doctor! Oh, that feels more like it! Now, time to figure out where the source of this explosion is coming from. Well, that creepy whispering voice is calling to me. I guess I should follow. <sighs> Who are you? I am the TARDIS, belonging to the Time Lord, only as the Master. And I am dying. Listen, you can't explode here. You'll take the whole universe with it. All those lives, trillions, dead, a whole universe wiped out. There's got to be something you can do. I'm afraid time is up. 
Where I am, time is never up. You hear me? Right, Doctor. Think, 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 think. Oh, 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 that is good. That is brilliant. Are your protocols as a TARDIS still operating? If I'm right about this, oh, it would be absolutely stellar. Since you no longer have your firewalls anymore, you can traverse through the void, right? You travel to a dead universe that will contain your explosion right on impact. Well, it's good to know that an omnipotent time guard thinks that of me. Now go. And I'm sorry all this happened to you. Farewell, Tardis. What is it? Heed my words. He is coming for you. For who will love you? The madman. The tired and the parasite. The drifter. Life. Oh, that's fantastic news. Oh, Doctor, I was so worried when you appeared, but you weren't moving. It's good to be back. What exactly happened in there? Well, for one, I spoke directly to your TARDIS. He was grumpy, a bit like you. He had said all hope was lost, but I sent him into a dead universe to contain the explosion. I don't think I'm ever doing anything like that again. What about the people? Are you quite well down here, Mr. Dan? My god, they're alive! How can you tell? Because when that explosion happened, the psychic projection faded. Ah, brilliant! Now, can you stop with your hypnosis? Ah, uh, fine. You are released. Well, as they say, All's well that ends well. Holt? Doctor? Master? Oh, if it is a Tarlek, how have you been? Very good, Doctor. Been busy with certain duties. One of them being to get an explanation of what the hell you two are thinking. Oh, right. I need a full report from one of you. And just know that the Lord President is not happy. It was your TARDIS, to be fair. Ugh, fine. I'll go with you to Gallifrey to make the damn report. Thank you. I'm only going because I need a new TARDIS. Mm-hmm, sure. Thank you, Master. You might be mad, but you have certain redeeming qualities. Ugh, don't say that. I don't want to be one of those characters with a really long redemption story. Until next time, my dear Doctor. Have a drink on me. I can't believe we survived that. Me neither. And right on time, dear. How about it, Jezbel? You ready? Always. Thank you, Jezebel. For what? Reminding me that I need to open up to you more. Oh, no problem. I'm just glad we're talking again. Me too. You know, that reminds me of something. Of what exactly? A wise man once said to let go of something old that no longer serves you in order to make room for something new. And in some ways he was right. I've lived a long and dangerous life with crisis at every corner. I've seen loss, and I've lost even more, and I carry those feelings with me every day of my life, to face a universe at war. But I will tell you this, if you come with me, 
you will see amazing things. Monsters from the past, visitors from the future, the days from a time to come, and days from the times of Elvis himself. It won't be quiet, and it won't be calm, but I will say just this. It will be the most stellar thing you have ever experienced. So, how about it? Will you join me? You know it. Ha! Stella! I don't know about you, but after all that, I need a good bath. Be back in a bit. You're going to be good here on your own. I'm always good. Heed my words. He's coming for you. For all of you. The madman. The dying parasite. A trickster. Trickster, eh? Bring it on.